Hello and welcome to Root Analysis. My name is Liam Lonsdale and I'm joined today by Olga Kozak of Poland. A few weeks ago in China, she made her first ever World Cup lead final. And today we're going to take a look in Root Analysis. So, Olga, this was the start of the route. As you approached these first moves, what was it that was going through your mind? Uh, I was just focused on this, uh, which hand I have to talk which hole, to how to choose the hands on the ice tool. And it uh, seems to me that my plan was very good because I make no mistake of the, in the first part. Like, I just move, um, don't, uh, not standing in one position, just keep moving and moving. And it's not like I have to change my hands three times or mm -hmm. something. It's just like everything on this part, for, I just got in my mind exactly how I have to climb, how I want to climb, and I just did it. And these holds, I mean, there's a, there is a selection and, and there's various types, but how did it feel to be on these particular holds as you were approaching clip one and then, and then the moves after that? Uh, every hold I remember was good because, were good, because um, even if there were intellects, they, they were standing on the structures, mm -hmm. so it means it wasn't hard moves from them. And... Um, it's one thought in my mind for this final, it was like first 10 meters, it's almost vertical. Mm -hmm. So it has to be easy. It should be easy for me because it's vertical. It's not overhanging, it's yeah. not roof. And a nice shot there, you get to see that whole route and you see how it does get steeper as you get higher. Are you conscious at all of the route above at this point or are you just focused move by move? No, I was just focused on every move, on every hold, and I just keep climbing. And so you just readjusted here. Talk us through that move. One more time. So you went out to the blue and then you came back and readjusted? And yeah, because there are some holds that I don't know exactly <laughs> which is the part that I have to take with my ice axes. Uh -huh. So uh, <laughs> funny thing that intellect was much more, uh, or the stone one was much more better for me because I know, okay, this is the stone. I took them. I, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And this blue one, I didn't know exactly where to put my ice axes. And this is the big hold from the Russian, which allowed you to put both uh, ice tools on this. So it was easier just to put both ice axes quick from the right and mm -hmm. then move to the left. The intellect, as I remember, then the hanging one. Just like every time on intellect, you have to be um, calm mm -hmm. because if you start to move or do anything like fast or unconscious, it's like you can slip from the hold. One thing that I think a lot of people underestimate or don't realize is how much detail you guys um, read the route in. You know, you literally read high grip, low grip, you know, first position, yeah. second, yeah. each move. Yeah. Can you talk us through a little bit about that process? So, you know, here you're in the low grip, you switch to the high grip, that's something that you've planned ahead. Talk us through that. Uh, yeah, for example, this move, this move seems for me that it will be easier to make it uh, making the cross mm -hmm. uh, because the previous hold was slippery and if you're making the cross you just work with all your body so it's easier and uh, for me it's just like I try to put in my hand the first 10 holds like what have I do so I got the good rhythm mm -hmm. on this and the last is just like you have to watch and uh, make all this decision very fast. Nice big powerful move out there to that position. Yeah. You've been doing a lot of training this year and with the Russian team as well. How much has that helped you? It helps me a lot because uh, this year, I, for the first time in my life, I'm feeling that uh, I know what I'm doing on this climbing. Like... Uh, I climb for now not so fast as I wanted. I haven't got not so much endurance, but uh, I like my style of climbing, mm -hmm. like how I move. It's like... This position here, it looks like you're resting, but you weren't resting, right? No, Tell me about this. No, I was just thinking to skip one hold because on the volume, it's like the hold from Krukonogi, uh, Sharik. And it's very sleepy. It's the golf ball hold, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were thinking, so maybe we are also. I almost did this move. I was just like, 
Okay, I will try, but uh, no, it's too far. And then I decided to not skip it, to just make this uh, yeah, move. Yes. Yeah. And those holds are bad. Yeah, but it's like we all the time we are mm, scary about these holds. And uh, here it was just like, it's okay, nothing happened. It's just like you have to climb. And uh, from this position, it starts to be a little bit uh, harder for me because, uh, as I told, I have not endurance, enough endurance. So uh, in the technical moves, in the vertical parts, or small overhanging was okay. But this big overhanging wasn't so good for me. And you can kind of see by the shape of the structure in the shot, it's getting steeper and yeah. steeper and yeah. the whole time, you know, there's no steps. There's no little roofs or positions yeah, where you can find a rest, it's no, just... No, from this position it's just like you have to climb and uh, it's like 11th quick draw, so... I mean, you can see from the angle of the, the tape on the quick draw how <laughs> steep this thing is really becoming there. Yeah, yeah. And so one thing that you know we talked about before was in, in this part of the route, it's just a case of making another move, making another clip. Yeah, I think uh, from this hold, uh, from the second yellow hold, for me it starts just like, okay, just don't stop, just do the next move, the next move. This is something that I've learned in Russia, that even if I'm tired, you just keep climbing, keep going, just do something. Don't stay in the one position because uh, you, will, you won't have more endurance, you won't be... Um, you will be pumpy yeah. still. Like, you never, it's not coming back. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's like in this angle, it's like all the time you just have to go. And I know that I've got not so many time. How pumped were you now? Like, on a scale of one to ten. Ten being your arms are about to explode. On this? Yeah. I oh. think about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, the funny thing is that uh, after each climbing, we are so pumped that... Um, I know that I climbed very good. If I cannot untie myself, if I'm too tired to untie myself, it's just like um, this route was very, very long, and uh, I try really to do my best, and I was very happy with this. And we can see how tired you are. What's going through your mind here? Because of course this was your first final. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect uh, about this final because it was like. Yeah, I made to the finals, so okay, I can be last in the finals, it's still the finals. But uh, I finished the qualification in third position, the semi-finals in third position, so I wasn't sure what I have to expect. But um, yeah, it was. I was really happy with my climbing. Like, I, I know that I did my best, and uh, my best was enough for fourth place, it's okay for me. Just like the girls were better, so they are better. But next year, <laughs> we will see.